All right, Mr. J here with a quick video about uh, completing this project and using uh, GeoGebra to measure side lengths and angles, which we, you will need to do for this uh, this project. So I'm going to flip over to geogebra.org uh, slash geometry, okay? And I did turn on the major grid lines, but you do not need the axis because we're not going to be moving our polygons or anything. We're just going to be creating them. Um, so... You know, I'd turn on the major axes if you want other axes, or sorry, grid lines. You can turn on other ones as well, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to do a rectangle. I know I'm asking you to do triangles, but, you know. Um, so create your triangle in your case. I just don't want to give anything away, you know. So there it is. Uh, remember when you use the polygon tool, you're, you're going around and you're just clicking. You're not dragging. You're just clicking where you want the points of your shape to be. So if I was making a triangle, it would just be like that three clicks. Oops, come back. Um, so there's my polygon. Now, if you want to measure, I'm going to show you one other thing, actually. If you remember, if you mess it up, you should be able to have it snap into the correct spot if you're off by a bit. And that's also in the tools. It's just called snap to grid. OK, so measuring the tools. If you don't see this, you might need to click more. Um, but we're, we're looking for these measure tools, and they're all together. So the first thing you need to measure is angles. So let's go ahead and click angles. When you click it, as usual, it's going to tell us what it does. So it says, select three points or two lines. So if I want to measure angle A, I need it to be in the middle. So I can either do BAD, because I'm bad, or I can do DAB and dab on the haters. So let's dab on the haters. So I go D, A, people still say that, by the way? B, and I'll get my angle measure, OK? And obviously, since I want to do all four, maybe I'll do B next. So I'll go ABC. You know me, ABC. OK, and then C. As long as it's in the middle, it's going to work, OK? And that's how you refer to the angles, by the way. This is angle CDA or ADC. It doesn't matter, but it's that middle letter that represents uh, where we're measuring that angle, OK? And as always, if I change things, then I'm going to get a different measure. Um, and it's automatic, which is, which is great. OK, and then finally, I'm going to measure all these side lengths. So again, in the measure tool, I'm looking at this distance or length. And if you click on it, it says select two points, a segment, polygon, or circle. So I want to measure each side. So I'm going to go ahead and go AC. Okay, and that is line AC. That's how you would refer to that properly, right? It's side, sorry, AD, AD. Okay, um, and how long is segment AD or line AD? It's 10. All right, and then I go back to my distance again, and I'm going to do AB. And I'll go again to the C, and then finally CD. OK? Now if you're feeling funky, why not do the area? It's really easy. It says select a polygon. So just click in the middle, and you'll get your area. OK? Now if any things are blocking each other, like you can see B and 90 are kind of tough to see, just click the Move tool, and you can move anything sort of out of the way, uh, make it a little more clear uh, if anything's not sort of adding up there. OK, so that's it. Um, we don't need any of these other measure tools. We're just doing, I mean, areas of a little bump up there. But we're just doing side length and um, angles, OK? And again, as always, if you alter your shape, you will get um, some differences, right? Because obviously our triangles, we're not going to have all 90 degrees. In fact, I mean, see how many you can get. Can you get one 90 degree angle? Can you get two? I don't know. Try it out, see what happens. Um, but there you go. And then once you're ready, of course, you're just going to go ahead and Screenshot that on whatever device you're using. Grab that screenshot and then bring it over back to the program. Paste it in there. Shrink it or grow it if you have to. Mine looks like a pretty good fit, actually. Um, and then start listing your facts here. You know, so if I was doing this, one, I would say, you know, all this. Or there's two sides that are 10 units long and two that are four. Um, all angles are 90 degrees. All angles are the same. Um, this is a rectangle. It's a polygon. Um, it's irregular, an irregular polygon, meaning not all side lengths and all angles are the same, right? Versus a, a square where it's, it is regular. A rectangle is irregular. OK, so see if you can get um, both types of triangles. See if you can get a regular triangle as well as an irregular triangle. Um, yeah, there you go. So that's, that's the program. Um, remember, you can always undo. And if you want to get a new shape, you can go ahead and grab, oops, the select tool and just clean all that out. Oops, did I not push delete? 
if there's something else there. My bad. Um, there we go. Okay. So good luck, and uh, yeah, can't wait to see them.